Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I accidentally went to the main menu without saving and so I had to redo that fight in there really quick but I did pick up an extra wetware kit so that was cool. I uh, beefed up my biotics and Caden's I think so uh, but I might have to yoink his when I take Liara out next. Anyway I think now we are we're gonna run over. I need to get out. Uh, we're gonna go run to Novaria, which is gonna be really interesting. Honestly. Uh, so let's, let's go. I don't know, I feel like I need to like do like a preamble, but... Novaria is the second planet we were given. Uh, like at the beginning of the game to go check out. Pharos was the first one. That had the Geth and the Thorian. Novaria. Uh, has Geth, like this one was actively being attacked by Geth. Novaria has had Geth sightings. Um, and that's about, that's all we've got really going on, uh, going off for Novaria. It is quite an interesting planet. We'll read about it a bit, but it is a corporate capital. It's, it's a corporate planet, basically where you can go do a bunch of illegal research because they hire a bunch of lawyers to make it sound like it's legal. So. Small but typical hydrogen gas giant is unusual for a star with a close orbiting gas giant to have a habitable world. Oh, Sparagus Pax is only gas giant, but it's temperate, powerful winds, and high orbital velocity make it a poor candidate for helium 3 mining. While Novaria enjoys plentiful deuterium for its fusion plants, it imports all of its helium 3 from outer system. Okay. I wonder if that's like legit, like a, like a, like a close orbiting. The asteroid makes it really difficult for, like, habitable planets to exist. We'll look at Novaria in a sec. Oh, Morana. It's an icy planetoid smaller than Earth's moon. Many planetary... Oh. Interesting. Many planetary geologists suspect, suspect it was once an Oort cloud ice dwarf which migrated inwards after an encounter with some other body. While the crust is frozen water ice, the deeper layers are mostly silicates with pockets of magnesium and aluminum. Uh, Morana is tidally locked to packs. The same side always faces the sun. Not much going on in this little squadron. Survey! Velez has a thin atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Most of the materials are frozen and fallen as snow. Its surface is composed of potassium and with deposits of magnesium. While investigating the primitive anaerobic life of Felis, binary helix survey teams discovered a cunningly hidden anchorage of the ancient Krogan warlord Moro. Many records and artifacts of the Krogan rebellions were recovered and sold at auction. <laughs> This is what happens when private corporations run around in like, oh, that's just so aggravating. Like, maybe they have somebody on staff who could like properly like, like, they, they also, even now, okay, anything, any antiquity, like the Antiquities Act made it so that anything provenienced after like 1970 is illegal to trade, even though the black market and antiquities and still thriving, and looters are still thriving, selling stuff that they pulled out the day before, out of the earth. But like, the freaking, the, I was reading this whole, I was reading a whole bunch of stuff last year on all this, like, like the antiquities art trade, like the illicit art trade and stuff that goes on. And it's horrifying. Like, how much knowledge is dug up and sold for money, and once it's sold, like, you have no idea necessarily where it came from, and it, it goes to me, oh my gosh, you guys should look it up, it's called, one of them's called, the book's called, like, Chasing Aphrodite, and, uh, the other one, oh shoot, what was the one I read, I can't, oh, now I gotta look it up, because it was, it was really, really good, and I, of course, I can't remember the one that I've read. The Medici Conspiracy. I highly recommend that one. I haven't read Chasing Aphrodite yet, but the Medici Conspiracy. There's a lot of stuff on it, like, and it's just basically talking about the looted antiquities of the world and like how like the the collectors are like only encouraging like the actual. They pretend they're like, oh no, everything's like you know ethically sourced, blah blah blah. They don't even care though. They don't care. They just want like something pretty and shiny they can put in their own private collections, and it only facilitates looting. They're like, we're protecting these. No, you're not. Shut up. Anyway, I'm sorry. I shouldn't go on this huge, massive rant about it right now, but it's incredibly frustrating. Like, it is actually... Like, you would think in this space world, in the future, right, that they would have the same thing. Where, like, it just seems like they blatantly, like, everybody knows. Oh, yeah, they dug up a bunch of Krogan artifacts of people who still... Like, these people are still around, and they sold them on market. Like, how would that make you feel? 
you know, like to be that people, to be the Krogan in that situation, you know, like the artifacts of your people being sold in front of you, you know, to the highest bidder and not giving back to you. It's your culture being sold on the market, you know, and anyway, like you shouldn't, anything that's provenient that's later than 1970 is illegal to sell. But it happens a lot in now, like, even, like, now, currently, like, museums pretend, they're like, oh, yeah, like, oh, what is the name? Some of, some of the, like, the, like, actual, like, the antiquities, like, like, auction houses, the auction houses, right? They're like, oh, yeah, we have provenience for this, and provenience just means, like, you know where it came from, you know exactly, like, when it's from, where it's from, who it's from, you know, and you have, like, all this documentation listing that, and they fake it all the time. They fake that stuff all the time to pretend, oh, yeah, it's from so-and-so's collection from a hundred years ago that was just found in an attic when truly it came out of the ground two weeks ago and like sometimes museums don't know and they have like middlemen who like try to like you know facilitate this kind of thing and it's the middlemen who are at fault but also the museums should know better and like they should have that they have people on staff who are supposed to be able to tell if something's like you know authentic when it came from the area it could potentially come from and they just don't care they have something shiny and new you know and it's just it's so far anyway i'm so oh it's, it's an incredibly fascinating thing to look at, but it is, like, heartbreaking to read. And, like, there's so much knowledge just being thrown away. Because once something, an object out of its provenience, like, once it's out of the time, place, like, like within even the dirt that it's been, like, encased in, how it's associated with other artifacts within that dirt or within, like, the, like, house or whatever that it is, you know, like, I'm thinking of, like, Greek or Roman, like, mosaics get ripped off of walls. Even things like the dirt itself can give you information you know, about what was like being cooked in the area or grown in the area or left behind or whatever, you know, but looters just dig it up and they sell it. They're like, oh yeah, it looks Greek. When there's like so many different kinds, you know what I mean? Of like Greek things. <laughs> like, And like once it's out of the ground, it's like, well, I don't know. It's a nice vase. It kind of looks like from this time period, but who knows? Like you don't know anything. It's just nice. It's a pretty bobble to have on your shelf. Oh, I'm good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Find some in your room. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm just, I'm just so incredibly frustrated now. <laughs> it's okay. My food will be here soon, and then I'll eat. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am excited to go to Avaria, and the picture looks nice. Um. All right. I just need to chill. Avaria, chill. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to Cold Planet. <laughs> Anyway, it's a small force of terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It's privately chartered by Novaria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is a source of many wild conspiracy theories. Yeah, well, uh, they're not unfounded, I'll say. Approach hey, control. This there's is the SSV normal. My true Western love. Vector into birth. There's my true love. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. <laughs> Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. They're like, dang it! Advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be empowered. They're, they're big on security here. A fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. I'm sure Joker, though, actually had a freaking blast saying, you know, like, because people are like, you get, we're tracking you, blah, 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 like, trying to be, like, the big man on the block. And then Joker's like, we got a Citadel Council, so, like, a, we're, we're on council business, we got a Spectre on board, and they're like, fine. And he's like, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's gotta be a nice feeling. It's like, oh, we have the one thing in the world that you have to pay attention to. I don't think he says anything when we just... Land? Commander, something no. you need? I have to go. All right, see you. I'm just letting you know that I'm leaving. That's all. Okay. We have. I think we have to bring. Okay, we're gonna be fighting. Yeah, yeah, I need some tech. I need tech stuff. So I'm like, oh, should I bring? I have in the past done Liara and Tali. Because they're both, like, strictly, you know, biotic. Like, one's, like, a super powerful biotic, the other one's a super powerful tech. And besides, I, I mean, Ashley's the other one who's just, like, she's just a straight-up soldier, right? So these are the three that are, like, specialized. I just realized it's the girls that are all the specialists and then the men 
diversify, I guess. Except me! I'm a vanguard, so I'm technically a soldier, you know. Uh, but I wanna bring Caden, though, for the... No, 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 I don't. Oh, but oh, this is gonna, this is actually gonna suck, though. This is hardcore. We're gonna get, we're gonna get slammed. We're gonna get crushed into tiny Equalizing pieces. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. What are you Exo wearing? Has the deck. What is Liara wearing? Did we like dig that out of the sewage for her? Like, did we dig that out of like our onboard recycling system? Like, why is it so dirty? Oh, okay, maybe it's because she's an archaeologist. <laughs> I'm like dissing her when she's like, she's like, I'm just wearing what I, what you would wear if you were a space archaeologist. So we have these, but Liara's uh, specialty is singularity, it's creating a vortex that draws objects in. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Stasis. Unlock electronics. Improves health restore to recharge time on squad healing. Is... Okay, so Tally does have first aid, too. Barrier. Advanced overload. Stasis I'm not that concerned about. Advanced throw. I kind of just want to... Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's do that. Just give her Master Singularity right out the gate. Let's give her some increased first aid capability, although now I think her and, yeah, her and they are, or Tally are basically in the same spot for that, but we'll get advanced lift. So, she is a very powerful biotic, but look how tiny our health pools are, oh my gosh! Oh, we're screwed. down that hacking, AI hacking thing. Line. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna just, this is just, it's just gonna, mm, <laughs> it's I have so many armors. I don't know why I'm even looking at those for her. Did I get anything? I don't think, I got like a new Krogan one. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, looks like uh, pink. This is unfortunate. It actually, I, I don't mind it in Tally's design. It looks really nice. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I think I like the little pattern design, and I like the, like the way it's all broken up. Whereas in like other armors, it doesn't look so great in my opinion. But Tally pulls it off really, really well. Um, maybe it is just like the patterning of it and everything. Um, but okay. She's a, she's a shotgun. Oh, let me make sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give her... Liara is one of those that doesn't have... Oh, actually, we'll give her that. The heat sink capacity is better. Oh, geez. Let me, oh, okay. We're gonna be fighting mostly or uh, inorganics, I think. No, no, that's a lie, actually. That's a lie. We will be fighting organics. Let's do cryo. 
Hold on. Mm, yeah, cross fine. And for Liara with their pistol. Sure. Usually I give the biotics a pistol, but maybe I should give her an assault rifle too. Oh, sure. Yeah, we'll give her assault rifle as well. And switch her around between those. Polonium, that'll be good for everybody. Did I give her... I did not give her... Okay, yes. The smash physics and, like, the other things. Damage protection. Do I want the... Yeah. Tally. Poor Tally. <laughs> How is her... We got... I think we gave her a new shotgun. Pistol. Actually, put Liara on assault rifle duty. We'll see how that goes. Actually, no. No, oh, yeah, because Liara doesn't have any specialization in weapon at all, whereas Tally actually has shotgun and pistol. But right now, oops, dang it! I'm trying to here. Just Don't mind me, just making waves when I walk in. I do love the girl squad. This is actually, this is one of my old favorite squads. Um, I just enjoyed having these, these two out with me, but. For insanity in Novaria. Although to be fair, I, I think they patched this out, but I heard Novaria was pretty buggy. I think. That would be fine if I had to go back there. It wouldn't be a huge deal. I saved. Like, right before, right before we left that planet, I saved. So. That's far enough. Hmm. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the lowest. <laughs> Show some respect. I'm a specter. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. What is you your problem, also, Karen? I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. That's hilarious. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. I love how Liara just pulls out her biotics. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. <laughs> Dr. Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed our identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Shut up, Karen. Um... Uh, hey, Karen, get talk? out of here. <laughs> the see what it is. winter wears thin very quickly. The Good. sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure Parasini san will answer any questions you have. Thank you, thank you. Wow. 
It looks nice. It's an information kiosk, technically. What? Detectors, don't mind the phones. That actually did scare me. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to administrator. Wow. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. She looks really good. Like she's always looked good, but the high definition stuff looks nice. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. Yeah, well, what Karen. What is this orientation of new arrivals? Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Oh boy, I, th I think that's supposed to indicate how long it would take. <laughs> Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. I think I could just go. That's the thing. Is there's like a whole thing about trying to get clearance to leave. And I'm like, or, hear me out, I'm a specter. <laughs> and I can just go. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. Her face does look a little too smooth. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. This only happens, obviously, if you bring Liara. <laughs> no, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. She doesn't have a deceptive bone in her body. Until later. <laughs> I say that with a giant asterisk. She doesn't go bad or anything. It's just, uh... You know how she be- like, how <laughs> she she becomes the shadow broker. Like, cause I was about to say, she doesn't have a deceptive bone in her body Asia, and mean it. The galaxy's most respected but... <laughs> in scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Mm -hmm. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is all. What is she doing? Thank you. <gasps> what is Liara? What is she doing? Nope. My gosh, the men who made this were so horny. Like, calm the rig down. They're like, oh yeah, women often just fondle themselves in public. It's fine. They just want to, like, appeal to, like, the viewer. Like, calm the freak down! <laughs> oh! It's so frustrating! Like, if you're smoothing a shirt, maybe, but you're not smoothing armor. You know what I mean? Like, that's not how that... You don't smooth armor down. Ah! The managers warned us about you. The managers. The managers. Hey, what up? This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. Teehee! This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Uh, I think this is a renegade one. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. <sighs> you want me to use my no. status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I'm very sure. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. This guy, as far as I know, doesn't have... <gasps> it is a Korean armor! He wasn't listed, although, it, it, to be fair, any any of the, um, what do you call it, like, merchants could have Korean armor at any given point in time. It's just very difficult to come across. Uh, yeah, the Colossus armor is good. 
Let me sell. I know I've got some stuff. Not bad. Just selling all the ones at this point. enough oh my gosh let's look and see la, 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 la. oh my gosh whoa oh, and this is this is actually my favorite armor in the whole game it looks dope it looks tally looks good on everything but it looks extra good on tally it looks good on everybody else too but all the designs and stuff like the patterning that happens like in her armor is just so nice it's so nice. Oh, uh, do they have a tech tool? I think I... Oh, no, actually, her tech tool is really good. Liara's... She has both? I need to... Oh, jeez. I should have stolen it from, um... From Caden. Uh, duration... Cooldown bonus. Maybe I'll do the cooldown bonus. Has the other okay. reconsidered this one's Maybe No, nope. I want to buy course. stuff. This one apologizes. Upgrades. Shh. Okay. Nope. Nothing. All right. You have very limited stock. Business the manager's warned us about you, Spectre. Business me. They, they, man, the news travels super duper fast here. These are heated rocks, I think. Or the water is heated, I can't remember. One of, one of them is actually heated, like a deep geothermal spring. It's just a constant blizzard here. Oh, we gotta do some political intriguing now. I think this is the right office. Oh. Yes. How can I help you? All right, I grabbed my food really quick. I'm gonna snack for a minute. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Mm -hmm, fascinating. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Oh boy. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Oh, that's it. I didn't realize that the guards were ERCS. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Yeah. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Well, so anybody doing genetics work is gonna try to keep a low profile. I've taken Ooh, up enough no! of time. Not at all, Spec. This is my job, after all. How can I help you? Tell me about the company. Over 250 high-tech firms. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council what? to develop artificial intelligence. I mean, I knew they that, but what? Many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Analea is one of the only Solarians, I think, who actually talks and acts like a Solarian is supposed to in the Codex entries, where they speak and talk faster than uh, your average uh, other species. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Oh, snap, buddy! I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? 
Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. I mean, yes, politicians are meddlesome, but, oh, I forget, yeah, Opal, that, like, you can do that. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. How did it... Friggin... There's geth in those things. <laughs> How in the world did they pass weapon screening? What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Yeah, I wanted to know commandos. who they were. Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. <laughs> Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Mm. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. For sure, do it. And see what happens. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? Yeah. He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. I actually love that he calls you out on that. <laughs> It's like this buddy. Not often will in game dialogue be like, hey, you already asked me that kind of a thing, you know? Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I don't know if he's realized that Saren is no longer Agent Saren, or if he just doesn't care. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Oh, I can't wait to put you in the ground, dude! Well, I don't think I actually Mr. put him in the ground. Isn't the only one with a past to leave Henshaw. Oh, ho, ho! Whispering sweet, sweet things into my ear, huh? You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Watch me! Bro. <laughs> I was looking at my food. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. <laughs> Can't say more. I'm like, hey, what? You what? said I should talk to Lorik Keen. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. Okay. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. All right. I am going to call this one here now that we've uh, ranted about uh, illegal antiquities trade and uh, started Novaria, which is a very more politically minded one than others that we've done. But this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to say thank you to Scalamunger, who is a tree patron over on Patreon. Oh, thank you so, so much uh, for all your help and assistance in letting me play video games. <laughs> um, and I want to say thank you to Reese Galito, who is also a tree, or a tier, a sapling tier patron over on Patreon. And thank you so much. Uh, the saplings and the tree tier, uh, the, the top two tiers, they get individual name callouts, uh, and then the seedling one gets, uh, their name up on the screen. But the other two get a, an individual call out. And so Christopher is, is going to get the super awesomest, I guess, <laughs> uh, call out uh, saying thank you uh, because uh, they are a tree tier patron. So thank you. Extra special thank you to you, to you and uh, to all of you and then to everybody who's watching. I appreciate you a lot. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one.